Leo, how are you? Hope you're feeling good. And I hope you and your loved ones are safe. Let's get straight into this. I feel that this dreaded virus is forcing mankind to reevaluate the way he does things and reevaluate the way we interact with people. So here we go, Leo. What messages do you have for the sign of Leo, please, in these restrictive times? What messages do you have for Leo? What can Leo expect, please, at this present time? What messages do you have for the sign of Leo? Well, you have regeneration. Something you thought was done, dusted and dead. I feel there's an opportunity here to rebuild it. It's not finished. Clean it up. This could even be for a lot of you, self-regeneration. You've gone through a period of instability and it still is a period of instability. But the clean it up card is, is, I feel you need to get any clutter out of your life, what's sort of dragging you back. Imagine yourself walking along the road and you've got a shoulder holster on and there's a big net with all your clutter inside imagine your mental thoughts from past physical clutter household problems that you're dragging along the road and it's weighing you down and slowing you down it's 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 dragging your progress get rid of this clutter simplify your life get rid of things and even old friends that you know you're have very little contact with you know, there's there's a, there's a need for you to self-regenerate the way you do different things. Do excuse that, that's the house phone. Don't worry, somebody else will answer that. Yeah, it's... Yeah, this is self-regeneration. And for those of you that are... How can I say this? There was somebody special in your life a while ago, even as far back as two or three years, and I feel this is this is going to revive again. For the moment, there's the yin card. Now, yin and yang. Yang is the sign of action. Yin is the sign of go with the flow. So when this person comes back into your life and it will kind of surprise you because you, as far as you can, was concerned, it's all been done and dusted. And when they do come back, they won't be the same person and neither will you. So you haven't got to let the, don't let the past hold you back. Don't, whatever happened in the past, and this is a general reading, so... It'll be different for everybody. But whatever happened in the past, don't let that hold you back. And the yin is saying, just flow with it. Let it happen. Let it come into your life. Let it guide you. See how they react. See how you react. And just generally go with the flow. Try not to form, and this is very difficult thing to do but try not to form opinions and think about the ifs buts and maybes just sit back go with the flow and see what is actually happening get all the old clutter out of your life simplify your thoughts simplify your actions Let's see what the tarot has to say what messages the tarot has to give you at this moment in time 
yeah four of pentacles this is holding back there is this is holding things close to the chest now somebody close to you could be going through changes in their life and they're not speaking about it and you're not aware of it but there's stability here the four of pentacles to me fours are all about stability four of wands stability four of swords stability peace healing Four of Cups, somebody withdrawing, thinking about things, reevaluating things. It's all about reevaluation, regeneration, bringing peace back into your life, bringing stability. So this could be you or somebody around you or the person you're dealing with. Yeah, when you get rid of all this clutter, that's when you will start to see positive things come in. As I said, this clutter is holding you back. You, there will be progress. Once you clean this up, you will make progress. You will find, with the Eight of Cups here, there's, there'll be a change of feelings, a change of the way you see things, the way they see things. Now, for a small percentage of you, there will be a disconnection emotionally. But with these surrounding cards, I feel there's the eight is not necessarily walking away physically. The eight of cups, it's a change of emotions. It's a different way of seeing things. Let's see what else we have. Yeah. The old queen of swords, the truth. Now with any new growth... You see things differently. And the old Queen of Swords, she's a truth seeker. So don't hold the truth back. Say what you feel. Put healthy boundaries up if you need to. But make it clear exactly what it is you want. The old devil. Yeah, there's... That's under the clean it up card. You see, get rid of all this toxicity that's dragging you back. The old way of doing things, the old way of feeling, the old way of thinking. This regeneration is all about you as well. The way you think, the way you feel. You'll do things and you will move on emotionally. You will make progress. Even without making much effort, you'll do it subconsciously as well. And it will bring in a perfect opportunity. The old Ace of Wands. Beautiful new beginning. Beautiful new beginning. So this is, to sum it up, this is all about regeneration on you, the people you deal with, and then the way the whole situation, the whole communal thing of your friends, your family, the person you're dealing with, there's new growth. New growth. Get rid of all the toxicity. Get rid of all the things that's dragging you down. It's a great reading. Leo, beautiful reading. Wonderful things will come. On that note, I wish you the very best. See you again. Bye for now.